Hi everyone, this is Ben with Dream Factory. In this short screencast, I'm going to talk about how to write Node.js scripts in Dream Factory. So the first thing you need to do with Dream Factory is make sure that you have Node.js installed on the server or on the local machine where you're running Dream Factory. And the way to do that, if you don't already have Node installed, just go to nodejs.org and follow the directions for your operating system to install it. And a couple other things you want to do. One is just do a, once you've installed, find the path to Node.js. Here I'm running on a local Mac, so it's just going to be uh, in the default location, uh, local bin node. And the other thing you can do is just do a node-v to get the version. That will tell you what version. That's not critical for uh, this instructional video, but it will be useful in general if you want to know what version you are. Uh, on with Node. So that's kind of step one, get Node installed in the right place in your system. Step two is really to set up Dream Factory to use Node.js for scripting, and that's really, really easy. The first thing you want to know is the htdocs folder. You want to become familiar with that in general. If you're using Bitnami, the directory there will be applications and then the version of Dream Factory that you're running, slash app, slash Dream Factory, slash htdocs and you can go in there. If you're doing a GitHub install from raw source, it'll be the .env file that we're gonna open and that will be in root, it'll be in dreamfactory-.env. So you wanna open that file, .env, and in there will be some configuration that you'll wanna go down to. A bunch of configuration variables here. You wanna to go to df underscore node.js underscore path and put in the path to where node.js is running on the server where you're running Dream Factory. So here on localhost, it's just the default location that I showed before when I said which node and copy and paste that in. The default in general will work if you're running on localhost. This is all very similar for Windows as well. So once you've done that, make sure to save the file. And then uh, the other thing, make sure you just uncomment this, that's important. So uncomment, put in the right path, save the file. And then what you can do is make sure, just be sure to do a PHP artisan uh, config clear to clear everything out and then that should let me just do that and then that should be all you need to do to uh, to start using node that's it the other thing I want to do is install any libraries that you need with your node.js script so for example let's say you're using lodash which in some of the script examples I'll show I am so I can just do from the htdocs folder do an npm install uh, whatever the library is that you need. So Lodash, I already have it installed, but that's what you would do if you don't have it installed yet. So that's kind of step two, set up your configuration after step one, installed Node.js. Step three is you're going to go into Dream Factory and start writing some server-side scripts with Node.js. The way you do that, there are two core use cases for scripting, I'll cover both quickly. One is event scripts, and we talk about these in some of the other videos. Here we're going to cover the same thing. So if I have API endpoints and I want to attach scripts to any of those endpoints, either on the request or the response, we call these event scripts. And you can do that with Node.js. It's quite easy. So here I'll just show a quick example. We want to do, uh, let's say, field validation on a post to a particular table, to a particular MySQL table. We just go in here and select Node.js. There's other languages, scripting languages that Dream Factory supports, Node.js being one. So make sure to select Node.js, uh, select active before you save the script, and then write the script. And it's just like writing any Node script. You put in your your code and you save it and these scripts get saved in the database in Dream Factory and they're also exportable so you can go into packages and you can export all of your scripts and import them into different instances of Dream Factory uh, from a, an application deployment perspective that's really useful so those are event scripts uh, at a very high level the other thing that you can do is create services ie API's you can write custom API's with different programming languages including uh, Node.js as a framework and a quick example of that is a simple math API. We create the API, give it a name in the services tab, then we go into config and we write our JavaScript. And you, you're, again, we're bringing Lodash in here. So nothing special here, just the same way that you would write a, a Node.js script, uh, nothing different. Uh, just make sure that you select Node as a scripting engine type and that's it. You can also choose a file if you want, if you've already written your script, and you can upload it that way. And then optionally, you can codify with Swagger any of your APIs with Node or with other programming languages that you've written your APIs. You can define it with the Swagger 2.0 spec, 
and then that API will show up in the API docs if you choose to uh, uh, document it with Swagger. Swagger is optional, but it's useful in order to see the API docs. So when I do that, my little math script here will show up the various endpoints that I created, uh, and then I can crack these open and uh, use them. So that's it. Very quick demo. I do want to point people to more details. There's a great uh, blog uh, that, which covers actually what I showed today. Uh, you can read through it. This, again, was a quick video just to introduce, but you can follow the instructions here. And this shows you uh, how to create that little math API as a starting example. We also have uh, some tutorials that will be helpful, things like field validation, how to orchestrate things like push notifications, uh, calling APIs from a script, and things like this. If you go to wiki.dreamfactory.com and then go to the uh, tutorials, and they will be uh, down here in the scripting area. So that's it. Uh, quick intro to Node.js and hope everyone uh, found this useful. Thanks.